Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to start making the whole character object or the model for the enemy since I want to get working on the enemy AI and it would be nice to get some graphics for the enemy first. What I want you to do is go back to one of our older um, Blender files, our FPS arms animation since I want to, since I want you to just press uh, right click on uh, the arms and just Control C to copy them and then go into a new Blender file and just paste them in here. You can delete the armature and then they'll rotate this way. Um, what I want to do is I'll just select them and press RX 180 and then they rotate. This is kind of what I want them to be or where I want them to be. So we'll just start modeling from this and then we'll see how it goes. I'll delete this cube that we started with and then I'll go into edit mode here and we already have a mirror modifier here. So I can just go shift A and add a cube. Now I can kind of scale this however I want it. If I press Z I go into wireframe mode and then I can select all the vertices and then just uh, press G and then the Z axis to move on it. Something like this. I was thinking of like a blocky character. I don't want to go in too fancy because blocky characters are usually much easier to animate. I will just press L while hovering over one of the vertices of this cube to select it. And then I'll press Shift D and then move it on the Z axis. I can scale it on the X axis on the Z axis to make it look something like this. Also, if you want to use the numpad, use the keys 1 and 5 to 5 to go into orthographic view and then uh, 1 to go into front view and then also 3 to go into side view. Those are kind of the keys that you need to use. I'll scale this a bit more, something like this. Maybe a bit less actually. Again, you can press L to select the whole object. And also, since we are using a mirror modifier, I'll just press Ctrl R and then add a loop cut in here and then just right click to um, put it in the middle. Select these or go into wireframe mode with Z and then press C for the circle select tool. Select these, press X and delete the vertices. Same thing here. Actually, first add the loop cut with Ctrl R, then delete. And now it's much cleaner. Now I'll start making the legs, I will go and add a new cube, just shift A and add a cube, I'll move it down and move it on the x-axis, maybe scale it, uh, press S and then shift Z together and then you can kind of scale it on the x and y axis at the same time. Also I want to go into the mirror modifier or to the modifiers tab and delete this armature modifier and also enable clipping right here, for some reason is isn't enabled. And then I'll just scale this on the z-axis and maybe scale it a bit more or move it a bit lower for the quads and then you can just L to select the whole object and also shift D and then Z to move on the z-axis and kind of place the lower part of the leg. You can also go S shift Z together to scale it a bit so it kind of looks like it should. Now arms are definitely a bit too large. So what I'll do, I'll select the arm and then I'll move it a bit, select everything else. You can just press Z and then B for box select and do it like this. And then I'll press G, X to move it on the X axis and then S, Z to scale it on the Z axis and then kind of move it down a bit. Also press S, Shift, Z to scale on the X and Y axis, something like this. Arms still look a bit too big, but that's fine. Now I'll select the lower part of the leg, L to select the whole thing, Shift D and then Z to move down, S, Z to scale on the Z axis and we're trying to get some kind of a foot here. If you press 3 to go into side view, you can select this front part right here, press G and Y to extrude it on the Y axis and kind of get the foot size properly. I like this fine. And now the head, um, you can go for a neck, I don't feel like doing it, it just makes things complicated and I don't need the neck. First I'll, well first I'll scale it, kind of the head size, right, like this. I mean this is your character, you can do whatever you want with it. It doesn't have to be like anybody else says. This is kind of cool. And I'll add a loop cut 
with control R delete the left side now we have a mesh now what you can do is if you don't like this kind of blocky look which I do you can add a neck here or you can then just select these kind of faces that need to be connected and then press space and type in a bridge and then just press enter you want to bridge edge loops and then it will connect them like this if that's something you want I'll show you how it should look like that so if you just select them and the space and go bridge edge loops like that it's a very quick and easy way to do it like this you end up something like this it's a bit harder to model but it works and you can also go ahead and add like a loop cut up here and then connect the arms like make a shoulder or something like this and you have quite a nice looking uh, dude but I don't want to do that because I like the previous one much better it's more of my style that I'm going for and it's much easier to animate also also what you can do you can add loop cuts like maybe to the uh, to the calves and then press s to scale and on the quads and maybe scale the chest on the y-axis something like this you'll end up with a more muscular or more detailed object which I don't want I like the simple one but those are just some ideas before we end this I just want to go here and say FPS or no I'll just say human model like that I won't apply anything I'll just leave this for the, the future video where we'll be where we will be making the rig for this hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully this helped you if it did be sure to leave a like comment down below share this with your friends you can go follow me on my patreon and hopefully I'll see you next time bye bye